celebrating two years of comics and games and every single action figure you can imagine, Craven's Comic Books and Collectibles in Cambridge is turning two on Monday. And for owner James Shelkett, it is certainly something to celebrate. For the last two years, he's worked tirelessly to share his passion with others. Now, when you step inside this spot, you won't believe all there is to look at. Let's check it out with Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli. Pow! Bam! Craven's comic books and collectibles came onto the Cambridge scene like Zoom more than a year ago. Owner and creative founder James Shelkett says they've been steadily flourishing since. The business is continuously growing, made a lot of new connections, met a lot of great people. People who, like James, are pumped about these products. I myself grew up on video games and action figures and toys and comics and trading cards and all this stuff. So I personally like to have a variety of all these things available and have, you know, a good, um, a good selection for people to pick from when they come in. A selection that he says is unique because of the way he buys. All big box stores are going to have the same type of stuff, but when it comes to smaller independent stores, they're going to have more so of a niche type of stuff because they're buying from personal collections, you know what I mean? And if someone in the store asks for something super specific, he'll make it his mission to find it. We might not be able to cater to it today, but I can get it, you know what I mean? Hard to imagine he won't have it here, though. I mean, seriously. It's like this comic book collection never ends. As far as which series of books sells best, James says it's the webbing wonder. Spider-Man's always been a big seller. Spider-Man continues to be probably the biggest seller that we have. Um, there has been some things that have definitely heated up over the last year or so. And as you might expect, Craven's comic books and collectibles will be at Ocean City Comic Con this year for the third time. After comic books, trading cards take the cake. These were really, really nice additions to the shop. This allows us to display a gamut of trading cards, which, as you can see, we have a ton of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dragon Ball, Magic the Gathering, mm -hmm. uh, Digimon, sports cards, and also original horror artist cards. Just when you think that's impressive, They've got binders full of thousands more cards. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close my eyes and you're gonna open to a random page and I'm gonna point to a card and you're gonna say whether or not my card is cool. Okay. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Good card, actually. Yes, you did pick a good card. Oh, really? Yeah, you picked a good card. Low cost, only cost two mana to drop. Yeah. Uh, Multicolor card, so it can go into a green or a black deck. It is a creature card, so you can attack with it. And it also, it is a mythic rarity. You chose actually the rarest out of the four uh, rarities in the game between common, uncommon, rare, and mythic. So Nailed it. Good pick. Good yeah. pick for sure. And a good card, too, actually. Hey. He adds that pops are, in fact, popping off. Hello, high demand. Also hot, their video game arsenal. There's so many games in there now that not only is the rack completely full, but we have boxes in the, I mean, big boxes, cardboard boxes, huge ones, just totally filled to the brim. Multiple of games that we can't even put out right now. Whether it's vintage video games, raging reads, memorabilia maybe, James respects every type of taste. To me, it's important to cater to your customer, right? Like, I never try to, uh, you know, you're not going to sell X-Men to a Batman fan. Why? Just ask the comic version of James, Jimmy the Janitor. The tagline that everybody knows is, because that's the kind of guy I am. And, and it, it has stuck, you know what I mean? Uh, I give back to the community, I give back to our local customers. Um, you know, I, I like to, you know, treat everybody fair and honesty, you know, honest with dignity and respect, and I truly believe in that. He does so here in the store and on his live shows on social media where he sells like crazy. His energy is endless, and it's easy to see why. I love to do this. I did this for 25 years and didn't make a dime off of it. So, I mean, now I get paid to do it. It's fantastic. The story of this store began a long time ago. And for James, it might just be more special than even the best comic book. And James is having a big celebration on Monday for his second anniversary. They open at 11 a.m. They'll have DJ Chucky Love in the house. <laughs> Local artist Lee Reese will be working on an exclusive comic that day. Ooh. And... They'll have refreshments, plus they'll have sales and discounts all week. You're there, aren't you? I need to write this down to make sure I go, no kidding. 